First question is asking how many monochloro substitution products are produced when the alkanes below are chlorinated. So this is question one. Question one, and I have here I have two kind of um product uh two kind of compounds here. So this is one A, I guess. So one A, I'm gonna draw this out. And then I'm going to basically chloro chlorinate it. And I'm, I'm specifically looking for a monochloro substitution. So I'm going to react it with uh, monochloro, monochloro uh, kind of uh, compound here, so HCl. And it's asking us how many number of substitute product products are there. So where can this HC, uh, where can the Cl minus bind? So let's let's look at let's look at how many um, places it can bind at. So it can bind here. Maybe this here is one. This here is carbon one. This here is two. And this is this is three and four carbons, right? However, if we if I were to draw out uh, these four these four structures, and I'll draw that out, I'll draw that out close. I'll draw, I'll, draw, I'll draw that out quite quickly. So, for example, one of these HCLs, oh, one of these HCLs could be here. So that's that's one possibility. Um, our second possibility could be here. Our third could be here and our fourth could be here right and then if you realize if i realize specifically with these two compounds here so this one the so these guys here these guys here they're actually the same compound right if i flip uh, this guy if i flip it this way i would actually get the same compound i would get i would get back this as well so this is actually the same which means i can't count this as another compound here so it means in this case here i'm going to have the number of monochloro substitution products are indeed three here because i have here this one <coughs> sorry excuse me <coughs> uh this here is number one uh this here is two and this here is three so th these are going to be my um my uh, three monochloro substitu substitution products for number A, and then for B here, for one B, what can I do here? For one B, I have this structure here, and then I'm going to again undergo a chlorination, and let's see how many pr products I can produce. Again, I have in this case I have five. Uh, actually, I have six. Right, I have there. This is carbon one, two, three, four. Five and six. I have six spots where I can chlorinate it, but again, some of them might be a repeat structure like we saw in the previous question. So let me draw out the first one here. So that's number one. On uh, number two, I'm going to uh, write a chlorine here. So maybe I'll do one, two, three, four, five, and then chlorine could go over here. And then if you realize, if I did it to the other side as well, to this side and this side, they're actually the same compound as one and two here. So I'm not going to cover these carbons here. So this is carbon one. This is carbon two. Carbon three would be, I would have something that looks like this. Carbon three here. This here would be uh, the third kind of product here. And finally, I could have it on this last carbon here. And this would be our fourth product here. So one, two, three, four. Five, and this would be another CL here, and this one would be our fourth product. So, um, and if I, I and as I said before, you if you chlorinate between these two spots as well, they're going to be the same thing as uh, as this first product. So if I draw this out um, in CL here, this is exactly the same. If I flip this uh, 180 degrees here, um, this one would be the exact same as this compound here. So I don't count this one, nor do I count. Uh, this one as well, because this one, if I flip to 180 degrees, it's the same thing as this guy here. So I don't count these two products as well, because they're the same as one and two. So therefore, uh, in total, I'm going to have four compounds for this guy here, and I'm going to have three compounds for this guy here. So let's look at the answer here. Again, three and four, which is correct. So three compounds, and they drew out one, two, and three, which is great. And then four compounds, and they drew out one, two, three, and four, which is also great as well. So the solution here is correct. It's correct. Good analysis as well. Thank <laughs> you.